Beta Technologies, an innovative aerospace company from Vermont, has just hit a remarkable milestone in the world of electric aviation with its Alaya 250 electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft. Can you imagine the excitement of a successful piloted transition flight? It smoothly glided from vertical hover to forward cruise and back, representing a major leap forward in EVTOL technology. The Alaya 250 is crafted to merge the vertical lift of helicopters with the sleek cruising abilities of fixed-wing planes. With a high aspect ratio wing, a V-tail design, and a distributed electric propulsion system, it's versatile and efficient in all flight modes. Have you ever wondered what it takes to achieve a full transition flight with a pilot on board? It's no small feat. This accomplishment showcases the aircraft's capability to operate safely and efficiently in various flight conditions, essential for future commercial use. Isn't it exciting to see Beta Technologies rising as a leader in the rapidly changing EVTOL landscape? The transition flight took place at their test facility in Plattsburgh, New York, where the Alia 250 took off vertically, transitioned to forward flight using its wings for lift, and then returned to hover for a smooth landing. These maneuvers validated its design and stability during different flight phases. Nate Moyer, a former U.S. Air Force experimental test pilot, flew the aircraft. Don't you think having someone with his expertise makes a difference? His insights will be vital as the Alia 250 moves closer to certification. This successful piloted transition flight isn't just a win for Beta Technologies. It stands as a significant advancement in the EV tall realm. Just think about it. Electric propulsion for both vertical and horizontal flight could reshape urban air mobility. How do you feel about the potential of EV tolls in easing congestion and helping our environment? As Beta Technologies builds on this success, they plan to rigorously test the Alaya 250 further and develop a robust charging infrastructure called the Charge Cube to support their electric aircraft. These efforts are geared towards seamlessly integrating EV tolls into our airspace and transport networks. So what do you think of this exciting moment for Beta Technologies and the EV tall industry? As they progress towards certification and commercial launch, we're getting closer to a future where electric aircraft become a key player in making air transportation sustainable, efficient, and accessible. Your thoughts and feedback are welcome.